You have to look up. No other way. You cannot put the Himalayas down. You cannot put your head down and try to see Himalayas. No. If you want to see Himalayas, you have to raise your head up. And your head has to be up. Only then you can see the Himalayas. Same way. Because He is there, your consciousness has to look up to see His glory, to see His grandeur, and how to fall for it. No other way. By very nature, you are getting built to fall for something extraordinary. Krishna is an extraordinary phenomenon happened in the body. So all gopikas have to just relax, have to just surrender. No other way. This, this is the highest form of devotion, blind faith, practical faith and extraordinary devotion. When seva happens out of blind faith, it is fear. Any work done out of blind faith, fear. Any work done out of practical devotion, greed. Any work done out of extraordinary raga is seva. Understand? I had too many idiots gathering around me and trying to serve me out of blind faith. I just want to shake. I did not even shake. One greatness about the unconsciousness is it kills itself. It is so unconscious, it commits suicide. Now I saw all the unconscious fellows, how much ever they tried to harm me, finally they only went to result. Nothing else has happened. The final result is they hurt or they are continuing to hurt themselves or they are hurting themselves. That's all nothing else. Blind faith is such. Any action happens out of it does harm to the person himself. Second, the practical faith. Any action done out of it, greed, of course, when it is done, as long as it goes, okay, but when it is broken, it does not harm the person. Huh? The society. But the action done out of extraordinary devotion, Rahabhati, Parabhati, even if it is a small action, is Seva. That is Seva. I tell you, when a person does Seva, it does good to him and to the world. Any action done out of blind faith does bad to the society and to him. Any action done out of practical faith, greed, does neither does good nor does bad, just neutral. And it is discounted, discounted over. Does not do bad to society or to him. It's more like a business. Action done out of extraordinary devotion. You just smell. Because he is there, nothing can be done. Helpless. Neither you can help, nor he can help. Because he is there, you have to fall. It's a, as a rule, as a very natural. Action done out of that high Raghava, highest form of devotion. That's good to society and to you. Understand? I have seen many people moving from blind faith to practical faith than rather. It's not too many people who are not able to, or don't want to move from blind faith to practical faith, 
get a practical faith to Agamal. So what to do? Too much a crowd stuck in blind faith will create a wrong tradition. I wanted to retain the purity of the Nityananda Sampradaya. Whether it is in the form of level of devotees or the level of organizers or the level of acharyas or the level of ashramics or the level of brahmacharis or the level of sannyasas. I wanted to retain the purity of Nityananda Sampradaya. I wanted only the people of Radha Bhakti to create a base for Nityananda Sampradaya. Any Sampradaya stands and serves the society not because of the number of people they have, but because of the number of people they have in Radha Bhakti. The highest devotion. All organizations built on plain faith people are political organizations. The fellow who is sitting on the throat is constantly under threat because every fellow is pushing him. He is not surrounded by crowd. He is surrounded by people who are trying to catch his feet. He thinks he is surrounded by crowd. He doesn't know why they are around him. They are just trying to kick him out and catch the seat. He is not surrounded by crowd. His seat is surrounded by crowd. People who work out of the practical way, they create social organizations, social service organizations. Again, he is also surrounded by the same kind of people who are waiting for his name and fame. They may not be just the cutthroat level people, but if he gets down, they will catch it. Or they will create a situation that he may want to get down. There is sunny game. He is also under threat. Social service organizations. The leaders of the social service organizations are always under threat because the people around him are green based practical faith. So any action they do will be naturally green based Any moment, they will create a situation where this guy can get out of the seat and they can occupy the seat. I saw too many blind faith, faith people and practical faith people have started gathering around me. Only people who work out of pure devotion, Radha, they themselves do not know why they fell for him. Why they have so much devotion for him. Why they are not able to forget him? Yes, they do not know. All they know is, he yeah, this, he is ours. That's all. Gopis have no logic. Why they have such deep love for Krishna? If you ask Rishis, he will give you the logic. If you ask Vyasa, he will give you logic. But if you ask Gopitas, they do not have reason. They do not have logic. Just all they know is, that yeah, is, he is ours. Rahavati. Action done out of Rahavati. Only will be service. Seva. Only people who act out of Rahavati can create a base for spiritual tradition. I saw what is happening around me. And it is time to purify the Sampradaya create Rahavati base for Sampradaya, create the base of the Rahamaya, the pure Bhakti base. The moment that intention or Satya Sankalpa happened, I saw the whole thing just happened. Now we are people. We are beings who are established in Rahavad, who are in pure devotion, who can really do seva. Neither me, nor the Sangha or the world is threatened by their consciousness or their action. 
only good will happen to the world and to them. Any action can be done. So I tell you, if you are any level blind faith or practical faith, move to the next level. Rather, only then you can do seva, which will do good to you and to the world. The consciousness of our each action is done has to be purified first. Then you will see. The seva becomes science and enlightenment. And I tell you, even if you do one action, just one action out of pure devotion, Raghavati, that will create such a joy and energy in you, it will penetrate your whole body. All your actions will have the smell of Raghavati. That is what I call living enlightenment. Acting out of Raghavati and imbibing the Raghavati in your bio memory is living enlightenment. That is ultimate service. So, I bless you all. Let you all move to Raghavati, Raghavati, and live and radiate enlightenment. Let you all achieve. And radiate a eternal bliss in Kyarna.